Hey, how you doing? Super excited about filming this video. I've been waiting for this ammo to show up for quite a long time now. A viewer told me about this stuff. So this is 7.62 by 51 or 308. Literally all I know about this, they're supposed to be German practice rounds. They shoot 40 grain plastic bullets that shoot at 4,000 feet per second. That's right. 40 grain bullets, 308, they're supposed to shoot 4,000 feet per second. That's literally all I know about it. You can see even on the package here, the writing is in German. So I don't know much about it, but we're going to take this up to the range, sight the 308 rifle in, see if we can have some fun with it. Let's go do some shooting. Now we're at the range, about to do some shooting. I want to show you guys a real close up of this ammo. And of course we have the trusty Ruger American 308 out with us today, but just to make sure you guys have a super close up of this ammo. You can check it out, see what it looks like. Plastic bullet. Check out the primers there. But yeah, there's the bullets. 50 yards down this chute, I have set up some steel, a toilet seat, and also some paper plates. This rifle sighted in at 100 yards. I have no idea how these plastic bullets are gonna fly, but let's sight it in, have some fun, see what happens. I'm really excited to see what these little blue plastic bullets do. I have no idea. I'm gonna go ahead and load up four of these bad boys in the magazine. They fit just like a 308 should, so, so far no problems. We got four in there. Now, we're gonna see how these babies shoot. I'm gonna go ahead and take a shot at that top left plate. See where our hold should be with this ammo. 40 grain plastic bullets, I'm gonna assume, are not gonna hit like the 170 or 180 grain bullets that this rifle sighted in with. So, let's see what happens. I'm real excited to see how these things are flying. That what would be really cool is if these hit exactly where I'm sighted in at. Wow. I just hit bullseye on that. This rifle sighted in at 100 yards with 180 grain bullets. I just aimed dead center and hit bullseye. So that's pretty interesting, but very low recoil, obviously like you'd expect, it's a 40 grain bullet, but these suckers shoot good. Come on, rifle. You just saw there, they shoot good. Let's take a shot at that steel here. See if we can get a little ping out of it. I hit the steel, but I didn't hear anything like you normally would with the rifle. Let's take a shot with that second middle plate there. See if we can still hit the bullseye. We hit the dead center there. I'm really loving this. This is a whole lot of fun. It's low recoil. I say this, this is really good practice ammo. If you're trying to get your form down, your trigger pull down. I'd say that this ammo would be really good for training. It's not very expensive either. Let's take a shot at that toilet seat and see if we can hit the center bullseye there. Oh, we had one not go off there. Let's pull this one out. So, that primer did get struck Let's try to shoot that load one more time, see if it goes off. May have have a may have a bad primer on that one. That, that one took two hits and didn't go off, so we're gonna go ahead and call that one a dud. Let's take a couple more shots. Now I've got two full Coke cans. We're gonna go ahead and shake them up, set them up down there at 50 yards, see if we can knock these out with just two shots. Let's see what happens. We got the two Coke cans set up down there. 
Also, I didn't mention, this stuff is really cheap. For 50 rounds, I think it was just 12 bucks. So for just going out to the range, shooting and having some fun, you don't need to go shoot that one dollar a round hunting ammo when you're three with your 308. Go get some of this stuff for 12 bucks, 50 rounds. There's no reason not to, just especially if you're just going out to have some fun. Shout out to John Boy who told me about this ammo. Appreciate it. But see if we can take out one of those Coke cans down there. We'll shoot for the one on the left here. Got it. Is the one on the right still up? No, nope, looks like that shot knocked it out. Let me go stand the second one up again. That first shot, the bullet actually ricocheted off the first can and hit the second one, but it didn't pop the second can. Oh man, I'm out of breath from running up and down here. Let's see if we can shoot that second Coke can here. 50 yards. Huh, there's another one that didn't fire. Let's see if we can hit that primer again. Well, there's another one with a bad primer. Pick another one up, load it, Let's see if this one fires. Huh, we missed. One more shot. This one's gonna hit that second can. Guaranteed. Got him. I just looked at some of that shooting footage quick and it looks like these have a pretty big muzzle blast. It was a, like a three foot fireball. I'm sure we'll see it in the slow-mo, but it looks like these have a pretty big muzzle blast. But had a lot of fun shooting these. I recommend you share this with your friends and tell them about it. This is a really cheap way to go shoot your 308 or 762 by 51. Had a lot of fun with this. Comment down below video ideas that you guys would like to see us shoot with this blue ammunition. Had a whole lot of fun today. You can see that it flies straight and it's very consistent and accurate. We had two not go off, but as cheap as the ammo is, that doesn't even bother me. I'd buy this stuff all day. Big thanks to Big John for telling me about this blue ammo. This stuff is awesome. A big thanks to Heavy Metal Guns and Outdoors for everything you do for us. Great group of folks over there. I encourage you guys to go check them out. Don't forget to subscribe to the Hootie Hoo channel if you haven't already. Check out all the links in the description down below. There's a bunch of cool stuff down there. Stay tuned for the next one, guys. Hootie Hoo!